Hey guys, Dale Gratton here, Sunday the 10th of March 2019 and I'm using Ubuntu 18.04.02 I think it's the latest LTS release from Canonical um, been a Ubuntu user for a number of years now um, it's my sole operating system having migrated from Mac OS X um, some seven or eight months ago now getting on just fine, no issues um, I do like sometimes the opportunity to, to fix things uh, that don't quite work how they should uh, but other than that great operating system um, works great for me one of the uh, little niggles I've had and uh, that is some of the applications that you um, source through the internet that are packaged as binaries or um, app images um, I can't seem to be able to put them onto my launcher at the bottom of the screen. Yours might be on the side of the screen here, but I'll position mine down here. Like I say, being a former Mac fan. Um, I found a workaround for you guys. Hopefully you'll find the video useful. Um, I certainly find it nice to be able to put whatever apps I want down here without the need for leaving it on the desktop, which sort of clutters the place up. Um, excuse the junk I've got on the desktop at the moment. Um, got things to sort out but um, I put them there as a reminder as much as anything but uh, yeah the app images you sort of either had to leave them in a folder that you didn't really want to do you want to just put them put them on here if they're a favorite thing or leave them in an apps folder such as what you've got down here so I'm going to show you a video on how to do that first things first I need you to head over to the Ubuntu software center I'm going to just stick with GUI um, and not sort of dive into the terminal to make it complicated for people and if we do a search and we're going to type in menu editor and hopefully you should have some search results back when I can spell right and we're going to download this one here which is the menu editor in advanced menu editor that provides modern features in a clean easy to use interface and we're going to click on install at this point here you should be prompted with your administrator password um, I haven't because I've just used it in the last couple of minutes so that application should install for me and then we're going to find our app image that you want to add now I'm going to just jump onto the internet and find one and one particular app image I know is Keydon Live um, it's video editing software, great software. I'm going to head over to their page and we're going to go looking for the download section. There it is. Now, this does have a proper installer on it, uh, which will stay up to date. But if you just want to download the app image or you're forced to download an app image from a website, um, then this is the way you're going to do it. So, we're going to just download this app image, it's going to take about 20 seconds excuse the slow internet speed um, it does have a note on here to make it an executable file otherwise it won't launch um, and to do that through the terminal but we're going to show you the uh, GUI way of doing that which I find a lot easier for people snap images again and flat pack stuff they're all binaries that are executable from the system so we're going to show in folder now it's downloaded and I'm not going to leave it here, I'm just going to move it, so I'm just going to cut that application, head over to my home folder, and I'm going to create a folder called Applications, of course, and we can go into there, let's just make a subfolder, Keydon Live, and that's how I like things to be organised, so that's got my app image. I'm also, whilst I'm here, and I'll show you why, I'm just going to search for Keydon Live again, but this time I'm going to click on Images, and I'm just looking for this logo here. And there we go, that's an app image logo, white background unfortunately, but yeah, we'll take that one for the time being. I'm going to save the image, and we're going to drop it in my home folder, Applications, Keydon Live, and we'll drop it in the, to there. I tend to find with the app, with the app images, I actually want a um, a transparent background and that's sort of represented by a, a checkered sort of background but anyway we'll, we'll use it, this for demonstration purposes that's me binary and that's my um, icon image which we're going to use shortly 
we need to make this app image um, executable. So I'm going to right click on that, head down to Part Properties, and then select the Permissions tab. And near the bottom, we've got Allow Executing File as a Program. Check that box and close that window. We should now be able to launch it with a double click. Might take a few seconds. And yes, Keydon Live's loaded up. Fantastic. And that's the app image in a tin. Right, let's close that window. Head over to your Applications folder, bottom right of my, my situation, and we're going to type in here Menu Editor. Oh, there we are. That's what I need. Right, let's keep it nice and organised. I've downloaded some video editing, editing software, so I'm going to click on the Sound and Video tab. We're going to click Add, and we're going to add a launcher. Give the launcher a name, um, Keydon Live. Sounds good. Small description if I want, uh, video editing software. Now the command is the app itself. So we're heading into home, applications, Keydon Live, and it's the app image there. That's the executable. Click OK. Working directory again, home, applications, Keydon Live. Not sure whether you have to put that in. I always do just to fail safe I suppose and um, this is our little icon here I don't like that it looks boring we're going to click on browse icons if you want to use one of the default icons that's built in with this software or if you select browse files we can navigate to home applications Keydon live and that's the image I pinched off the internet and that's our nice little application now once you've done with that just come out of it it will give you the option to save it and when we go back into show all applications, you should find Keydon Live here now, which single click will launch. And there we go. And now to add that to the uh, the launcher, go back into show applications. I'm going to right click on it and click on add to favorites. And it's there. So. can just drag that around wherever we want to drop it there hopefully that video has been useful to you if you want to remove it from the um, launcher you can just right click remove from favorites um, and if you want to remove it the application completely you're going to have to do the reverse of what we've done so we're going to go back into menu editor just bear in mind these apps won't update when you do a system update um, find the launcher which is keyed and live and then select delete from the top click OK close that and then you need to head to your home folder applications and remove the folder to remove the app completely from your system bit of a long-winded approach but it's a bit of a workaround for um, them apps that you can't seem to put onto this launcher. Hopefully the video has been of some use to you. If it has, thumb it and please share it. Any comments, questions, try and drop them below. I'll do my best to help you out, but I'm not a big techie guy, so I'll, I'll do my best for you. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. All the